Last month, Jeremy Corbyn was suspended from the Labour Party after the party was investigated for anti-Semitism. The Equality and Human Rights Commission found that Labour broke the law on two occasions. Corbyn, however, wasn't suspended because of the report or from anti-Semitism. He was suspended from his reaction to the findings. Let's take a look. Let's be clear. Start off. One anti-Semite in the party is one anti-Semite too many. And uh, when I became leader of the party, some complaints were received. I asked Shami Chakrabarti to undertake a review of all this, which she did. She made a number of recommendations on processes which were not implemented quickly enough. Uh, under Jenny Formby's period as General Secretary in 2018, much more progress was made very quickly. But the numbers have been exaggerated in my view. The public perception in an opinion poll last year was that one third of all Labour Party members were somehow or other under suspicion of anti-Semitism. The reality is it was 0.3% of party members had a case against them which had to be put through the process. And so I think it's clear that we do not accept, I do not accept, Keir Starmer does not accept, none of us accept anti-Semitism in any form whatsoever in our party. I did everything I could to make sure a process was put in place and cases were dealt with quickly. And as the report acknowledges, in the latter stages, the process had speeded up, more cases were dealt with, where necessary people were expelled from the party, but also I think we could and should have made more progress on the education process, because I do think education into the hurt caused to Jewish people by allegations of anti-Semitism, by anti-Semitic tropes and tweets and messages, is deep and horrible, and I'm very sorry for any people that were hurt as a result of that, because I want to see, like everybody else does in the Labour Party, anti-Semitism completely ended. What I said today was that anti-Semitism is unacceptable in any form. What I said was... You told me it was exaggerated. I Your said report the said number... It was I said, overstated. What I said was the numbers of cases in the public perception had become overstated. The existence of the problem I fully acknowledge, which is why I took action to end the problem in the party by introducing a process to get anti-Semites out of the party. No, I'm not part of the problem. The problem is anti-Semitism historically, anti-Semitism in the presence, and the fear that many people have of being under attack at their synagogue, or indeed mosques, temples, and lots of other places within our society. We need to tackle racism in every conceivable form within our society. He was suspended for that? For telling the truth, basically. So, um, look... Everybody agrees, especially on the left, ask people on the left, we don't deny that anti-Semitism exists. We don't deny that it, it, it exists in society. We don't uh, say it doesn't exist within the Labour Party. It does. But to say that there were factions, political factions that use that to smear the left and Jeremy Corbyn, that is undeniably true, okay? So before the last general election, there were people saying that the livelihood of British Jews were, at, uh, no, were in danger from Jeremy Corbyn. Seriously? In danger? No. Oh, come on. That's, that is ridiculous. People have compared him to Hitler. They say he's a Holocaust denier. They say he's an anti-Semite when he's he's done nothing of, this, of the sort. So there has been a lot of... Um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, exaggeration in the media for anti-Semitism, which, in my opinion, actually trivialises true anti-Semitism. When you say that uh, you know, anyone on the left or a socialist or Corbyn being anywhere near power is a threat to Jewish life, you're trivialising it because then you're forgetting about when anti-Semitism does rear its head. Because the problem then, if you, and especially when you go on Twitter, the problem you'll find is then there are some people will then refuse to believe that anti-Semitism exists at all because they think it's a smear. That's the culture that's been created when people fabricate these smears that when there is a genuine concern of anti-semitism a lot of people will say oh well it's another smear it's bullshit but that's the culture we've created now we can't do this like adults we can't you know the labor party should be coming together um and i think the ehc report was really good by the way i've read it it's very sobering um the recommendations were brilliant and i think they should be adopted in full straight away which uh corbyn has said um but, you know, the former leader and the leader should be working together to go forward. Um, 
Now, obviously, subsequently, he, uh, Keir Starmer, <laughs> He then, obviously, so Corbyn was um, <clears throat> remitted to the party following the NEC vote. Um, sources say actually that the NEC vote was unanimous in reinstating Jeremy Corbyn and they weren't all from the left. So what that means is different factions within the Labour Party, whether they like or hate Corbyn and his policies, they thought, well, it's ridiculous he got suspended in the first place, but also we need to heal as a party and unite to come together, which is one of Keir Starmer's key pledges as leader, to unite. And he has done nothing of the sort. In the first six months of leader, he has made his, more of his mission to trash the left in the party than it is to win a general election, it seems, because why would you tear, tear open wounds like this? Um, so anyway, Corbyn was re readmitted to the party and Keir Starmer, Okay, Keir Starmer has refused to reinstate the whip. Corbyn is not a Labour MP, he is an independent uh, MP for Islington North. Now, a lot of people in the media are saying that um, Keir Starmer has just not reinstated the whip. Uh, that's actually not true, according to the, the rule book. Um, Corbyn's status should be exactly the same than it was before he was suspended. That means the whip should automatically given back to Corbyn. He should be a Labour MP. So what Keir Starmer has done is not refuse to give the whip back. He's actually removed the whip. So, so Corbyn's been suspended. Then he's been readmitted to the party. Okay, fine. Job done. A lot of people said, let's move on now. That let's, you know, it shouldn't have happened anyway, but let's move on. But Keir Starmer has now got the wound and ripped it open uh, by removing the whip. Uh, the guy can't handle himself. He clearly doesn't want to talk about the Conservatives, most of them because he seems to be agreeing with them. Um, it clearly is about smashing the left. Um, so this whole facade is, is an absolute joke. Uh, it's going to... Keir Starmer is the new Neil Kinnock. He could have been the Harold Wilson Prime Minister, but no, it seems like he, he cares a lot about factions in the party. Um, now, I was never fooled by Keir Starmer. I knew he was uh, an establishment corporatist. But there are a lot of people who are, uh, are upset, are angry at Keir Starmer. Um, and there's, there's word that people within his own team are quite pissed off at what Keir Starmer is doing. Um, so I think he, he has done a good job of uniting. He's united the left and right against him, <laughs> which, is, which is something surely he wasn't, wasn't planning to do. Um, but yeah, I think this is this is a complete joke. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn being suspended is something said that was was truthful. We, what we know is 0.3% of members have been investigated for anti-Semitism. That's 0.3% of 500,000, half a million members. So look, there's racists in society. Of course, there's going to be racists in all corners of society, including the Labour Party. But if you are a Labour voter or a Labour member or a Labour supporter, Statistically, you're less likely to be racist. Statistically, you're less likely to be anti-Semitic. Now, again, one anti-Semite is way too many. But this, this is clearly a joke. The public thought that one third of uh, Labour members were anti-Semitic. It, it's crazy. So Corbyn was suspended for telling the truth. He got readmitted to the party because, let's be honest, he didn't do anything wrong. And then Keir Starmer then removed the whip. So... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't wrap my head around this. Um, look, if, if the way things continue to go uh, as Keir Starmer, if, if it carries on like this, uh, then yeah, the Labour will not win the general election in 2024.